Okay. Are we ready? Yep, ready when you are. Hi guys, Portia Monique with Rolling Out Magazine, and we are sitting here with some of the cast and executive producer of the Bobby Brown story. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, so you play Bobby's character in the New Edition story as well, and then you play Bobby's character again in his, in his own story. Did you notice the difference? Like, what was different? What can you tell us about the difference between New Edition and Bobby Brown's story? Um, the difference between the two is, I feel like, just not, okay, for a moment, okay, I really felt like I was really Bobby for a second because when Bobby got kicked out of the group, right. you know what I mean, he was on his own, he wasn't with his brothers. Right. So New Edition was all about the brothers, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And now it's like the Bobby Brown story, I don't have my brothers there with me. So it's like a different tone to this movie. It's not the same exact tone from the new edition. Because we all act different around our homeboys, our homegirls. We act different with them than we do our family members. Right. So this is all about family. You're going to see a different side. Okay. It. Okay. So give us just a little bit about the character. So everybody in the world knows who Bobby Brown is, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't, you should, because he's the king of R&B. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but uh, just give us a little bit of insight into the character that you play for this movie. Family, okay. like Bob is always about family. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like Jesse said earlier. This movie is about survival. Bobby's been through everything: mm -hmm. the drugs, losing close ones, but he's still here, still strong. Right. You know what I mean? So I really, really respect him for that, and that's why I was so excited to do his story. Okay. So let's touch on Lance's character for a bit. Lance, tell us about the character that you play in the movie and um, what you got out of that role. As well. Well, uh, I played uh, Lil Silas, who was at the time Bobby Brown's uh, A&R, and he was um, primarily responsible for helping develop him as a solo artist. Um, it, it's funny because he was kind of the representative of the record company, and sometimes the record company is in doing business on behalf of the record company, not always on behalf of the artist. Exactly. And I love that this film touches on that. You know, it touches how Bobby's brother, Tommy, stepped in and really had to manage Bobby's career for the betterment of Bobby. Okay. You know, because the record company's gonna do what the record company's gonna do. Right. So you kind of got to see some of that dynamic and how that power struggle happened. And, uh, you know, for me, it just, again, you know, as Woody mentioned earlier, that it just humanized the process. You know, we always see a record release, we see that the, the album, the photo art. And people say, oh, why do you wear that shirt? Or why do you do, you know, we, we automatically assume it's the artist's decision, but there are a hundred people that are deciding what color, how he's gonna pop his collar, if he's gonna wear it down, and all these things. And, and once Bobby and his, and his team took his career into his own hands, he kind of saw a whole different dynamic. Okay, okay, Jesse, for you. Um, so why did you pick Bobby Brown's story? I mean, it was, I mean, listen, because it's a story that really needed to be told. Okay. You know, everybody thinks they know Bobby Brown. They think they can Google and, you know, and it just rolls up in a shirt. Hey, Bobby, nice to meet you. Y'all good? We good, we good, we good. I see y'all talking. It's a story that had to be told. Everybody thinks they know Bobby Brown. They think they can, you know, they saw some news clippings, read some stories, heard some records, and think they understand them. And you, you don't. You know, he's a very complicated guy who survived things that are, you know, <laughs> what most would say are insurmountable. And he's still here to this day, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Shit. So, uh, keeping in that same vein <laughs> about surviving things, Bobby. Um, I want to ask you about your story and retelling your story. Like, how did you cope with reliving some of those dark moments with um, redoing your story, reliving some of those? I did. <laughs> you know, some of the times that they were shooting things, I just didn't show up. Mm. You know, because I couldn't relive it watching it. Mm -hmm. But on paper, I could read it and, and feel like, you know, crazy about it, but 
when they were shooting it, I just, I just couldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now another question for you: Why was this so important for you to tell your story now? So you know we did the new edition story that was great. Uh, I did wonderful. But why now the Black and Brown story? Why was it so important for you to tell your story? <laughs> That's an amazing question. Um, I think, I think. The right time is the right time. I think when 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 it's time for you to you know to tell your story, when it's time for you to um, give your life to everybody, it's important to do it while you're alive. Mm. You know, that's why I wrote my book, Every Little Step, and that's why I have. Me and Jesse got together and, and, and we did this film. I think, you know, you, you can't be you can't be gone mm -hmm. right. and tell your story. Right, right. You gotta be here. Yeah. So that you can see <laughs> your story and know your future, you know? And now I know my future. So I'm I'm, I'm grateful. Wonderful. So let's move, let's keep it on it. Well, let's move it to a lighter note in terms of fatherhood. So Sunday is Father's Day. What does Father's Day or fatherhood mean to what What does Father's Day mean to you? you want to no, that's fatherhood. You, you got more kids. You know. <laughs> Yeah, Father's Day means everything to me because, you know, my Father's Day for my father was always the most special day because my father was, you know, he was a G. He was, he was just like, you know, he was a working man. He worked, he worked 14 hours a day, but then he would come home and get G'd up. <laughs> <laughs> and he would go out, so. You know, my father was a father, you know, so Father's Day means to me that, you know, as long as you take care of your children, as long as you take care of your family, that nothing else matters. You know, you got to think about that. You know, um, what else matters than a father being a father, a father? You gotta think about it. Yeah. And I always do. So I try to be a father yeah. in my life. Wonderful. Okay, I think that's it. We have right. to wrap. So it was definitely a pleasure, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.